DMTV presents After the Adventure, Logan's Heroes. Here is your host, Veritas Stonetongue. It's been ten years since the fall of Volcor the Invincible. His reign of terror brought to an end by four legendary warriors. With the overthrowing of the last great warlord, peace has reigned. Let's see now how ten years later, our heroes have adjusted to tranquility. It's time to catch up with Logan's heroes after the adventure. After the defeat of Volcor, Julian and I decided to reveal our true feelings for one another to everyone and settle down. We decided to keep our relationship a secret for the safety of our party. But when the last great threat to the world was finally eliminated, we decided to marry and within months, little Sebastian was born. By the way, where is his dad? Right here. Oh, I assumed that was his granddad. I'm afraid the years aren't as kind to humans as they are to my people. Julian. Julian, dear, the interviewer is here. Julian! Oh, oh is the baby's diaper need changing? Oh, that's my diaper that needs changing. Whew. Humans should have gone with the paladin. All right, let's get started. That's my pencil. No, it's not. And my scroll. I don't know what you're talking about. It has become clear to this reporter that Lotho Bumbleroot does not wish to continue this interview in a civilized manner. It has also become clear that his listed profession of acquisition specialist is nothing more than a synonym for no good thief. Hey, come back here. Oh, how low the mighty have fallen. I have managed to track down the party's mighty enemy, Volcor the Warlord, who tormented them for years before they defeated him, stripped him of most of his powers and wealth, and leveled his castle. There's also unverified reports that one of the party adopted the dictator's pet hellhound. I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like after being overthrown a decade ago, he has failed to recapture any of his former terrifying glory. Let's see if we can get a word from the famous dictator. All right, I ordered my half-calf triple soy espresso latte with no cream. There's cream in this. Ah! Oh. On second thought, he looks busy. Let's come back later. When we return, the most heartbreaking tale of all. What happened to Sir Logan Bradford, founder of Logan's Heroes and once righteous servant of St. Cuthbert? I can't stop evil anymore because I don't want to go back to jail for assault. My necklace of demon slaying. <laughs> of course, I killed all the demons, so that's pretty much worthless now, right? Who needs a bag of holding if there's nothing to put in it? And sometimes it's the little animals. And we all know the little animals are pure evil. They're gonna be the end of this world one day, and so I have to put the little animals to the question. There is no one left to retribute. They took my sword away. This is just some wooden thing I bought down at the market. I can't smite evil with that. Chivalry, honor, it doesn't mean anything anymore. It's more of a burden than anything else. It's useless, just like me. That tragic story and more went, hey, put that down. Come back here with that.